We're all trying to lose weight, but how does it actually happen? In today's video, we'll be tackling that very topic and hopefully dispelling some of the myth and magic around weight loss because I promise it's actually not that complicated. It's a pretty simple process when you really break it down. But if you guys haven't already, give us that like, comment, and subscribe. Your support means the absolute world and it appeases the almighty YouTube overlords and their fickle algorithm. But let's talk about fat loss. Should be a pretty fun topic. Now, before we get into what weight loss actually is, we actually have to define a few things. First, what is a calorie? As well as we actually have to figure out how weight gain happens because it actually gives us a hint on how the weight loss process will go and ultimately understanding the equation from both sides is where the magic happens, where we can get a complete understanding of how fat loss occurs as well as how to keep it off in the long run. A calorie is just a unit of measurement. It's how we define the energy that our body receives from food. And ultimately, this calorie or energy, which you can just think of it as an interchangeable term, is ultimately what our body runs on. It's how we keep the lights on from our heart rate going to breathing to maintaining muscle mass, fat mass, our connective tissue, our organs. It's what we use to move around. It's flailing our hands around like we just don't care while we're filming YouTube videos. It's everything you do in a day will require your body to burn energy or calories to keep you alive and facilitate the task. Now, when we overconsume this energy or calories, our body has to do something with it. Well, this is where the weight gain part of this equation comes in. When we overconsume energy, there's a small fraction of it that our body will use to increase our movement throughout our day. But the problem is, it's really not that much. So the majority of that remaining calories, remaining energy, has to be put to use somewhere. Well, we store some of it as glycogen, which is stored glucose or sugar that we put into the muscle and organs. And this is ultimately a good thing for you. It's where a lot of your endurance comes from and ultimately gives you that fuller looking physique with bigger muscles. And the remainder from there ends up getting stored as body fat. Because we can really just look at a body fat cell like a gas tank. It's just an empty vessel that we store body fat into that excess energy for us to consume for later. Now, as I said before, as scary as weight gain is, it actually holds the secret on how we achieve weight loss. Now, if we overconsume calories and we end up storing that overconsumption of calories or energy as body fat, well, what happens if we flip that equation around? What happens if we were to say burn more energy than we intake? Well, weight loss actually ends up happening. Again, remember that gas tank analogy from before, we end up almost squeezing the energy out of these fat cells for our body to then take and utilize to fill that energy gap because we can't just move without having gained energy from somewhere. And ultimately, that's what body fat's entire job is. It's just meant to be stored energy for you to later use. And from there, ultimately, weight loss just becomes this game of rinse, wash, repeat trying to sustain this net energy deficit for as long as you can, trying not to go too hard, too fast, and really trying to sustain a process in the long run, which that's a topic for another video on diet strategy and how to implement longer term weight loss. It's a little bit more of a nuanced thing, but weight loss at its core, eat less, move more, and weight loss will occur. But guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video, sincerely. If you did, give it a little like, comment, and subscribe. It means the absolute world for me. And if you comment down below on any type of questions or topics you'd like to be see covered in future videos, you never know. We might actually cover one of these topics a little later and answer your question directly. But I love you guys. I really do. And we'll catch you guys here in the next one.